Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. In our chapter called Solar in the City, we investigated the inner workings of a grid-tied residential solar electric system, defined net metering, and explored the potential of distributed generation. A lot has happened on planet Earth in the two and a half years since we began this exploration. The sun is setting on the days when we rely only on fossil fuels for our energy and rising on a diversified new energy future. In Alberta, it's coming soon to a neighborhood near you. So we're launching a new chapter called Solar Society to document this historic transformation. I welcome you here today for the official launch of the Alberta Solar Municipal Showcase. We're part of the Alberta Solar Municipal Showcase and we are the second community out of 20 that will be installing a one kilowatt photovoltaic or um, PV system as it's called. And it will be installed on our recreation facility which is the Jasper Activity Centre. It's a fairly visible location and it also has a very good sun resource. There's no shading, there's no uh, obstruction to, for the solar modules is going to be able to produce its peak amount of electricity. This program is not intended to produce a huge amount of power for Alberta. This program is intended so that municipalities, inspectors, everybody who's involved in approvals of solar energy will be ed educated about the potential for it, how we can streamline the process, and how in the future, as solar becomes more and more affordable and energy prices continue to rise, it becomes a viable option for everybody. Um, we have a fixed capacity of energy and we have a growing tourist population. More people means more power usage. So, you know, you can look at this in, in two ways. You can say that we're really just educating locals about it or you can look at it from a, the perspective that we are educating the world because really we are. We're visit we have two, over two million visitors a year. There's countries like Germany and Japan that have been using this type of electricity for several years. NASA uses solar power on all their satellites that are put into space. It is a, a known fact that the technology is good and proven and it works and the only real problem, the limiting factor is, is the cost. But I think people are really open to it and I think with the rising cost of energy they're looking for solutions. They're looking for you know, what can they do to save money mostly. But people really inherently want to do things that are good for the environment so I think that that's just kind of part and parcel how the package looks and the payback is, is getting smaller and smaller, which is, is great. We recognize that solar energy is part of the solution for climate change. It's part of the solution to Alberta's energy mix. It's a good source of clean, reliable electricity and uh, used on a large scale, it will really reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. I just like to get wind and geothermal and uh, as much solar as we can here in town. Join us again as we further document Alberta's transition to a solar society.